Hello friends and family, and that one stranger that clicked on this video by accident. Welcome to my shop. Now the next project I want to work on is this end table, but I've designed it with tapered legs. Now tapered leg starts off at a given thickness and then tapers down to a thinner end near the foot. Now in order to cut this, I need a jig. And that is exactly what I've just built. This big boy. Let me show you how I did it. So I was able to use the cutoffs I had left over from previous projects. All I had to buy was the hardware. There's only two pieces of plywood in this jig, the base and the fence. I made this jig larger than most I've seen and I'll explain why in a bit. Now that the plywood is cut to size, I can start on cutting the dados that will hold the T-track. I used my router with a 3 quarter inch bit and the edge guide for the dado on either end and for the center dado I just clamped a straight edge to the workpiece. I then used my router plane to make sure that all the dados were at a consistent depth so that the T-track seats properly. Like a glove. I also needed a dado in the fence for the T-track in which the hold down clamps go. Next is the hardwood runner that rides in my table saw's miter slot. I used my planer to sneak up on the perfect fit. So it's back to the router and edge guide. I could have also used my table saw and dado stack for these, but I got good results from the router. Next I put a coat of wax all over the bottom of the base to ensure it doesn't bind. This butter. And while I'm here, I might as well trim the base to its final width, somewhere around 17 inches. I think. How long is the jig? Good question, I'm glad you asked. 36 inches. Now finally, I needed three slots in the fence for the T-bolt to come through. So I drilled holes for the beginning and ends of said slots and then used my router with an upcut spiral bit to connect the holes. Quick test fit. Ah, perfect. Now I just have to repeat it on either end of the fence.
Time to cut and pre-drill the T-Track and install it. I left the track and the base short as I'll never need to bring the fence that close to the blade. So I just filled the gap. Time to take it for a test spin. I just use a scrap piece of 2x2 two two and it works like a charm. And there it is in all its jiggy glory. So I mentioned earlier that I've made this jig bigger than most and that's because I want the option to use it not just for making tapered legs but also to use it as a way for me to make straight cuts into rough cut or even life edge lumber. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and as always thanks for watching.